Get ready, folks, because I've got some major news to share that's going to impact millions of Americans receiving government benefits. On June 8, 2024, a massive one-time payment of $2,800 is headed to seniors and individuals collecting Social Security Supplemental Security Income, SI Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, or Veterans Affairs, via benefits. That's right. $2,800 straight into the bank accounts or mailboxes of eligible recipients nationwide. Welcome to Wealth Boss, your trusted source for the latest updates on Social Security and forced stimulus checks tailored for American seniors, including SSI, SSDI, and VIA recipients. I hope you are all doing well. Let's get right into it. This unexpected financial windfall promises to be a game-changer for those struggling to make ends meet amidst skyrocketing costs of living. From soaring grocery bills and utility costs through the roof to ever-increasing medical expenses, making it paycheck to paycheck has become an incredible challenge, especially for our seniors and disabled communities subsisting on fixed incomes. Just last week, in a rare showing of bipartisan cooperation on Capitol Hill, Lawmakers from both sides of the aisle pushed through an emergency economic relief package focused on providing much-needed aid to some of the nation's most vulnerable populations. With inflation rates reaching dizzying heights not witnessed in decades, the urgency to assist those bearing the brunt of rising prices could no longer be ignored. As Senator Emily Richards, a key sponsor of the relief bill, passionately stated, no American should have to choose between putting food on the table or paying for life-saving medication. These forthcoming $2,800 payments are intended as a stopgap measure to help seniors and the disabled weather the current economic storm until more comprehensive solutions can be implemented. So who exactly qualifies for this financial boost? The eligibility criteria are relatively straightforward if you are currently an active beneficiary receiving monthly payments from Social Security, SSIS, DI, or VIA programs. You should automatically qualify for the full $2,800 one-time payment. It's important to note that these payments are not subject to any income limits or means testing. Whether you're a millionaire or living below the poverty line, as long as you're enrolled in one of the qualifying benefit programs, you'll receive the entire $2,800 sum. However, there is one caveat to be aware of. If you only recently began receiving benefits after March 1, 2024, you may unfortunately not be eligible for this upcoming payment. The cutoff date was strategically set to ensure that the funds reach those who have been grappling with escalating prices and strained budgets for an extended period. Now, the big question on everyone's mind, how will these payments actually arrive? According to the Social Security Administration, SSA, and the Department of Veterans Affairs, via the vast majority of the $2,800 payments will be issued electronically via direct deposit on June 8, 2024. So, if you currently receive your monthly benefits through direct deposit into your bank account, you can expect the $2,800 to automatically appear in your account on that date. For those still receiving paper checks through the mail, don't worry, you haven't been forgotten. The agencies will be sending out physical checks containing the $2,800 payment, with delivery expected within a few weeks following June 8. However, they're urging patience as the logistical challenge of mailing millions of checks is no easy feat. To avoid any potential delays or complications, it's crucial to ensure that your contact information and payment details are up to date with the relevant agencies. If you've recently moved or changed bank accounts, make sure to update your records as soon as possible to keep everything running smoothly. Now, let's talk about what this influx of cash could mean for recipients. For many, these $2,800 payments will serve as a much-needed buffer against the ever-increasing costs of living. Some may choose to use the funds to cover essential expenses that have been piling up, like rent, utilities, groceries, or medical bills. Others may opt to set aside a portion of the money as an emergency fund, providing a crucial financial safety net for unexpected expenses down the line. And for those carrying outstanding debts, this payment could offer a valuable opportunity to chip away at those obligations and work towards improving their overall financial health. However, it's important to remember that these payments are intended as temporary relief, 
not a permanent solution. While the extra cash will undoubtedly provide some much-needed breathing room, it may not be enough to sustain households indefinitely, especially if inflation continues its relentless surge. To truly weather the ongoing economic storm, it's crucial to consider long-term strategies. Take a close look at your monthly expenses and identify areas where you can trim costs. Cutting back on non-essential spending can free up funds for essentials like food and health care. Don't hesitate to apply for any federal, state, or local assistance programs you may be eligible for, whether it's help with utility bills, housing costs, food, or prescription drug expenses. Every little bit counts when it comes to stretching your dollars. If your health and circumstances permit, considering taking on a part-time job or freelance gig could provide an additional income stream to supplement your benefits. And for those with retirement savings or investment accounts, now may be an opportune time to consult a financial advisor and ensure your portfolio is well positioned to weather market fluctuations. While the $2,800 payments are a one-time occurrence, ongoing discussions about cost of living adjustments, COLAs for Social Security and other benefit programs are underway. It's essential to stay informed and plan accordingly, as these COLAs could potentially help benefits keep pace with rising prices in the long run. As the $2,800 payments begin hitting bank accounts in the coming weeks, advocacy groups and lawmakers are already turning their attention to the long-term challenges facing seniors and those on fixed incomes. Organizations like the AARP American Association of Retired Persons and Disability Rights Groups are doubling down on their efforts to ensure that benefit programs keep up with the rising cost of living. They're also pushing for broader reform efforts to address issues like affordable housing, health care costs, and access to essential services. This one-time payment is a band-aid, not a cure. We need comprehensive solutions that provide lasting financial security for our nation's seniors and those with disabilities. On Capitol Hill, lawmakers from both parties have signaled their willingness to continue exploring additional relief measures, though the specifics remain hotly debated. Some have proposed temporary suspensions of payroll taxes or increased funding for programs like the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program. SNAP to alleviate the burden on vulnerable populations. As the national dialogue around inflation and its impacts on vulnerable populations continues, one thing is clear the $2,800 payments are just the beginning of what promises to be a long and complex road to ensuring economic stability for all Americans. Beyond the immediate relief these payments provide, they also raise broader questions about the long-term sustainability and adequacy of benefit programs like Social Security, SSI, SDI, and VIA benefits. For years, experts have warned that these vital safety nets are facing significant financial strains, exacerbated by demographic shifts, rising health care costs, and other economic pressures. The looming insolvency of the Social Security Trust Fund which is projected to run dry by 2035 if no action is taken, has been a particular source of concern. Without reform, beneficiaries could face substantial benefit cuts, potentially plunging many into poverty and hardship. Proposals for addressing this challenge have ranged from raising the retirement age and increasing payroll taxes to implementing means testing or transitioning to a privatized system, all of which have sparked fierce debates among policymakers advocacy groups, and the public. Similarly, the VAA's disability compensation and pension programs have faced criticism for their complex and often frustrating claims processes, as well as concerns about their long-term financial viability. Calls for streamlining and modernizing these systems have grown louder as veterans and their families struggle to navigate the bureaucracy and access the benefits they've earned through their service. Amidst these challenges, the $2,800 payments have reignited discussions about the fundamental role and purpose of these benefit programs in the 21st century. Are they still adequately serving their intended goals of providing a reliable safety net and a dignified retirement for those who have contributed to the system? Or do they need a more comprehensive overhaul to better reflect the realities of modern life and the evolving needs of beneficiaries? These questions carry profound implications, not just for current recipients, but also for future generations. 
As the population continues to age and the workforce shifts, the burden of supporting these programs will fall increasingly on younger taxpayers. Finding a balance between ensuring the financial security of vulnerable populations and maintaining a sustainable, equitable system for all will be a delicate and contentious undertaking. In the meantime, for the millions set to receive the $2,800 payments in the coming weeks, the focus remains on making the most of this temporary lifeline. Financial literacy and budgeting experts have been inundated with inquiries from recipients seeking guidance on how best to allocate and stretch these funds. If you find this video valuable, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more upcoming videos. And turn on the notification bell so you never miss an updates all things related stimulus.